Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can create load case combinations in Karamba 3D. So this is a new feature found in version 3. It allows you to take your existing load cases and create unique load case combinations. We can take the load cases, apply simple standard formulas of applying factors as well as applying complex regular expressions to create a whole range of combinations. What is important to note that all of our load cases have been created using strings. If you do not specify a string in your load case input, it would automatically create a default load case name of LC0. In this example, we have five different load cases g gq uh, sorry gk qn qw1 and qw2 so these are our separate load cases and now we are going to create our load combinations load cases can be created of any load type in karamba 3d so let's start with the standard formulas so in this case, we need to use the load case combinator to create a load combination. We have to input simple text or string inputs for our rules. These basically specify the equation and the name of a specific load combination. So as you can see on the left, uh, for our standard formulas, we have created four separate load combinations. A, B, C, D. These are all using capitals. And it, as I mentioned, it is case sensitive as two. We have to specify then the equals and then the actual equation for that load combination. So the first one is simply a multiplication of the load case G. When we look at the output, this gives us a visualization of what that load case or, uh, sorry, load combination is. Some of these equations might output actually multiple results for one load combination formula. So the next three are simple uh, equations using addition, multiplication, and brackets to apply these formulas. And these create one single load combination for each unique combination name. Next, we can use the vertical bar or the pipe to specify the OR command for our expressions. So here you can see the load combination E is a equation that specifies QN or GQ, GK or QW1. On the right, you can see that for our load combination E, we have 0, 1, 2. This specifies that there has been three separate load combinations created for that uh, load combination of that specific name. If we also hover over the names, we can see the individual names of all of our load combinations, and we can see for each load combination how many of these are in that specific load combination. So we can very easily create a multiple array of load combinations using this OR command. On the left, you will then see different applications of how we can combine this to create different formulas and multiplications and additions for our load combinations. Lastly, we can use the dollar sign to basically set simple regular expressions. In this case, I'm creating two K1 and K2 load combinations. First one is using a OR command, and the second one is also applying a multiplication. On the right, we can see that for K1, we have two load combinations, and for K2, we also have two. So now using the dollar symbol, you can see L equals K dollar. Anything that follows the K character now is brought into that specific load combination 
and therefore we can see that L now has four load combinations because uh, both of the K1 and both K2 have been now integrated into an L load combination. And you can also then also apply a multiplier or a or command to also uh, make your expressions more complex too. So now that you've created your load combinations, we simply need to set them into the assemble model. So the load mo cases and our load combinations have been applied and assembled in a load uh, in the load input here. And then we will see some information about the model with all of our load combinations, our load cases in the active model. Lastly, using the model view, we can actually preview the loads that have been applied for each load case and for each load combination. At the bottom of the model view, you will see this result selection component. Our drop down menu and there for example you can actually go in and select every separate load case or load combination so these are grouped according to their load case name or their load combination name so gk is this mesh load that has been generated as line loads if we now look at the load combination which we've named e we can see that e has three separate load combinations in that group. If we go into a separate load case, we can actually then see those individual combinations. So E0 would be QN. E1 would be GK. And E2 is basically QW1, this wind load that we have applied there. So that's a brief introduction on how you can create load combinations. More information can be found in our manual. Thank you very much for watching.